Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where I just went through yet again and did all of our worlds as usual. It took about half an hour. I also got rid of our shipyard that was at Anaxador. So that's gotten rid of. We're still going to be over our starbase cap for right now. So that's definitely something we'll need to consider. That said, we've got a lot of naval cap. We could potentially create another fleet. Yeah, we actually could create another fleet here, and I think we'll do it. So let's go ahead and create ourselves a new fleet. And for right now, well, we're just going to go ahead and add in Corvette, Destroyer, Cruiser, Battleship, Titan. And this is going to be 58, 28, 14, 8, and 1. Excellent. And we will begin constructing that fleet. And it's at full strength. Fantastic. So that's a lot of ships queued up. And those are going to be pumped out quite quickly. So let's go ahead and unpause and go up to the fastest speed as soon as the game lets me. There we go. And all that's left in the galaxy is for us to take out the Galactic Entente and a couple of independent locations. Here and here. Now, we don't really have good access to those. We could attack them in theory. These guys are Rebels of the Synthoid Link now. Okay. As are those. Yeah, we could in theory go after some of those locations. We could also go take out the Tiankani Matriarch. That'd be a possibility. In fact, let's just send the Throndrite Shards over here. They'll arrive there in 15 days, and we will just go ahead and jump drive in. It shouldn't be any problem, realistically. Do we ha still have a construction ship up? Colony formed. I don't know, we'll figure that out after this month tick, I guess. That was quite a month tick. Yeah, this construction ship is currently not doing anything. But this one is supposed to be building a gateway. So there we go. I guess we will put out another construction ship here. Excellent. Actually, we're not going to put it out here. We're going to put it out here. There we go. Now we just had a bunch of edicts expire. Exotic gases as fuel, shield boost, Volatile Ammunition, Reactive Armor, Focusing Crystals, and Desperate Measures. Those are all fine to leave lapsed until we go to war. So that'll be a thing. Fantastic. I am wondering what happens when this missile battery finishes building. Actually, this missile battery goes here, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Interesting. Well, the Throndrite Shards are here, so we are going to go ahead and jump drive straight in over here. Excellent. And this construction ship can come over here and prepare to join us after we take out the Matriarch. We still technically... Oh, hello, yes. A creature of, le of legend swims langoriously between the, le the gas giants and the Riador system. Larger than any Tiankani on record, indeed, larger than any of our projections could have allowed for, a space whale of impossible proportions seems to have made her nest here. With tentacles longer than a Kodronidon battleship, this magnificent matriarch's glowing hide stands out startlingly against the void of space. She's old. Remarkably so, a veritable ancient covered end-to-end -end in battle scars and strange growths. A gigantic, unexploded proton torpedo is lodged in the venerable creature's back, and the fractured remains of ships in the system speak of what manner of fate befell any vessels that strayed too close. Indeed. There are ruins all over, but we're not going to have any problem with this. Even with our weapons reduced from jump drive, 
We'll take a couple losses, maybe, but uh, shouldn't be too bad. Oh, month tick. What are we going to do with you? Wait is what we're going to do with the month tick. Now, we're currently losing minerals. That should not be the case for too much longer. There we go. One dead matriarch. Our victorious fleet circles the dying Tian County matriarch, her glowing flesh scored by countless blast marks. The violent thrashing of her tentacles, still trying to grasp at nearby ships, first slows, then draws abruptly to an end. At last, she expires. The ancient matriarch laid to an end, like her would-be hunters before us. Or so it had seemed. Our fleet captains are reporting strange movement coming from the belly of the beast. Something is about to emerge. A mysterious vessel, covered in viscous fluids and damaged by digestive juices, blasts its way out of the corpse of the fallen Tiancani matriarch. Our fleet stands at the ready, but the ship immediately powers down its weapons and engines after emerging. They're hailing us. On screen. This is Captain Reth Undull of the AH-4B. Long have I suffered in the caustic bowels of that fell beast. Decades ago I came to hunt it, to repay a debt long overdue. Alas, I could not lay this baleful matriarch to an end, and when she swallowed the AH-4B whole, I was certain I would never again see the light of the stars. I'm glad to see I was mistaken. For putting my nightmare to rest, I would pledge my life and loyalty, and my ship, to the Kodronite multitude. Okay. We can scrap the ship and get the captain, just take the ship, or attempt to coordinate our neural network with his own. And I guess that's what we'll do. And then we're just going to get rid of this. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. So, with that having been done, now we need to go ahead and jump our construction ship directly over here. And I think we're going to have to jump out, right? Which I believe we can't do for 177 more days, yeah. So, that'll take a little bit of time. But that's okay. Now, how many colony ships do we actually need? We need one here... One here, so that's two total, three, four, five, six, seven, what about over in this region? Not a whole lot. Eight, nine. Okay, so that's 9 total, is this, yep, yeah. 10, 11, okay. It looks like in total we need 11 colony ships. So I'm going to go ahead and queue those up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... And that's all we got for now, because we are running out of minerals. Oh my. That won't be the case forever. But uh, it's the case for now. So how many was that? Five? Six? Seven? Eight? Nine? Ten? Eleven? Okay. There we go. So there's that happening. Now then, the Throndrite Shards are going to need to jump out in 165 days. That'll take some time. We do actually need to get a science ship over here. So we should probably move this guy over. And then we can jump drive in. Afterwards, in theory. And while we're waiting, we can go build mining and research stations over here. Maybe jump drive over to here, but we're probably going to have a jump drive cooldown for a while, yeah? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. So we're now making 7,400 alloys per month. If these guys decide to attack us, like, they're claiming a bunch of our systems. If they decide to attack us, it's not going to go well for them. Not well at all. Accretion complete. 
Some of these star bases do need to be continued to be upgraded, and that does remind me there was one other thing, although I want to make sure that these are all upgrading first. There we go. Excellent. There was one other thing, and that was that we have some frontier sectors, sector worlds. So we're just going to go ahead and go through these and create sectors. Like so. We'll need to wait for them to properly update. But we'll just do something like that. Now we'll need a month tick for those to properly update. But we should still be able to put our leadership in. Even though this is very clunky. So you have to do it one at a time like this. It'd be great if they would uh, change that up. But it's okay. So I think we will go... I mean, crime wouldn't be a bad thing to reduce. We've had a pretty big deviancy problem all game. Yeah, we need like five more. Tile blockers? We probably don't need to clear those, <laughs> realistically. Uh, this guy. Definitely more science. Crime reduction will probably be fine. Let's see, more crime reduction. And finally, bureaucrat? Yeah, we'll go for bureaucrat. Let's just double check that all of our sectors have governors. Oh, there's one that doesn't. Let's go for, I guess, tile blocker clearance. Okay, let's see here. That'll do. Excellent. And now these are updating. Perfect. So our sectors are now set up a little bit better. The science ship is still going to be a ways away over here. 94 days. Okay. They're claiming a lot of our systems. We are currently completely out of minerals. Attrition. Which is okay. For right now, anyway. Actually, that's not okay. Let's go ahead and bump up our monthly buy order to 2,000 minerals per month. Bump up our monthly sell order to 1,500 consumer goods, as well as 7,000 food. There we go. That should do the trick. At least in theory. They're claiming so many systems. I definitely want to take out these couple final unaligned areas. The Unar patch here, I want to take over this region over here as well as over here. So if we were to declare on these rebels here, who would join them? This is... These guys and these guys. Okay. I mean, that's doable. So what we'd want to do is we'd want to get the Lentipaz fragments up over here, as well as the Frisidian shards. I'm assuming we've had claims on them. I would hope. Yes, we've got claims. Perfect. So we'll be declaring on them shortly. What have we got for armies currently? Okay, that's plenty, in theory. We'll get our armies moving up over here as well. So you guys can get positioned over here. That's 82 days away. So we'll just wait until they get into position. These guys will be jumping over shortly. So that'll be fine. Excellent. We're losing a lot of exotic gases right now. I did not realize that we were losing that many exotic gases per month. Also, our energy credits are going down now. That's exciting. Are we missing an edict for 
Yeah, it's an influence edict. Hmm. I guess we'll go ahead and activate capacity overload. Because we're going to need to do something about the exotic gases. We can't really use minerals right now. Because our mineral amount is currently a little on the low side. That said, we do have some uh, minerals on the way in. Let's go ahead and dump some food here. Food is at the minimum price currently. That's okay. And then I do want to go through here, as soon as the month tick is over anyway, and find a couple of places where we can build a new structure. Which I know there are a couple of them. Oh, that's a ring world. Mm, this is a new colony here, so this is actually going to need to be a pair of spawning pools for both of these. And we don't have the uh, minerals for this one. It's okay, we'll have that soon. Our starbase upkeep is definitely costing us on the energy credit front. And that's probably something that we're going to want to do something about. Eventually. Come on, Month Tick. You can do it. There we go. Excellent. Now, these are both foundry stations. Which isn't ideal. I'd like a refinery station. If we've got one. Like this one. We'll put in some exotic gases over here. Of course, we're out of minerals. We'll just buy some in. There we go. Exotic gas refinery. Fantastic. What else do we have? Here's some refinery stations. Soon as the month tick is over. There we go. Okay, so we will go ahead and get an exotic gas refinery in each of these locations. That'll help offset our, exo our exotic gas losses a little bit. Surely they don't have gas extraction wells available here. Yeah, they don't, and we need mineral purification plants here. Okay, fair enough. This is a generator world currently. This is a lot of civilian industries. I think we're going to switch this over to a refinery world. And we could potentially... Nope, there's no free strategic resources here. So we'll have to just build a gas extraction well there. Or rather, not extraction well, a refinery. There we go. One there as well. And that's all we can do for now. How long are we going to be able to hold out with our exotic gases at this level? A while. We may want to consider how much would how much would a hundred gases cost per month? About three thousand energy credits. Okay. Well, we'll have to think about that. We do have some of these colony ships ready to go, though. So, we should go ahead and get some of these heading out over this way. We know we need two over here, so we'll just pop two out right over here. And they'll go there. Excellent. We need two over here. So we'll just bring them over here. Actually, we need three. Like that. There we go. Fantastic. Then over this way, we know that we need two. So we'll bring two colony ships straight over to here. Excellent. And where were those others? There were some up over here, weren't there? Yeah, there's one over here. There we go. And then there's two up here that we'll eventually need. And where did that last one go? Here. Yeah, okay. We can make that happen. 
will just come to like right about there. And then we'll just have to jump drive a lot of those in. Now this science ship is currently not doing anything because it is supposed to be jump driving directly over to here. Excellent. Are we fully in position over here? Not quite. The Frisidian shards, I think, are going to need to move forward a little bit. We're just out of sensor range here. Construction complete. But we'll be able to declare this war quite shortly. Construction complete. Excellent. And you should be surveying this system. There you go. Excellent. Soon as this month take happens, we will uh, head over here. There we go. The Physidian shards are now in position, which I believe means we're free to declare this. We have declared war. Oh, they have their borders closed. Need to ticket a day. There we go. And now we'll jump drive in. And then we'll jump drive over here. And we'll just hold off on bringing in the army a little while. Synthoid Link, I'm going to close borders to you. There we go. Stay out of our territory. Fantastic. So now we're losing a hundred exotic gases a month. Interesting. So what do these have for armies? Literally none. Oh, come on. Come on, month tick. You can do it. I have faith in you. There we go. 1072... 1028, 931, 136. That's not very frightening. Okay. Let's go ahead and get these guys jump drived in. Excellent. How goes the battle up over here? It has not begun. Okay. Fantastic. Well, we will just go ahead and bombard one of these places. 1028, 136. We'll bombard this one. Just as soon as the month tick is over. And you guys can come over here and land. There's literally nothing to resist you. Excellent. And we'll just wipe out these couple of regions. Many of these colony ships are just awaiting their next destination. So we'll just jump drive these guys directly where they need to go. Like so. Some of these other colony ships are actually in the same boat. So we'll jump drive you guys over as well. You'll be waiting there for a while, but that'll be okay. Have we succeeded this invasion yet? Nope, we have not quite managed to land yet. That took longer than expected. But we'll land over there. What's the uh, galactic community been up to anyway? Defense army morale. Okay. Well, good luck with that, guys. Our exotic gases deficit is less bad now, so that's good. Let's see here. We've got multiple places that we can colonize over here, and so we shall. There we go, and you can go ahead and colonize right here. Fantastic. 
Well, it is pretty much time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to finish up this war and prepare to fight the big war against the Galactic Entente. And we're going to be looking to wipe out the Synthoid Link once and for all. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.